Yeah. Um, Montini, I stayed in Elmhurst for a little bit. Oh, were you really? I went to Fenway. Really? I yeah. Play, um, I played them in. I played them in my state the playoffs. Yes, in 2023. 20, nah, I was 2018. I was way back when. <laughs> yeah, no, I was still that. I'm a little older. So a big bounce back bit, uh, day on Saturday for the secondary. Uh, what sort of changed? What What did you guys do better uh, against that Northwestern uh, team? Uh, I think we just did better in the details and the little things, and I think that started throughout the week, you know. Uh, just harping on the smaller details in practice, you know, whether it's film, study, uh, your daily disciplines, and it all came to fruition on Saturday. It was it nice to have uh, Deshaun Lee back in the starting lineup and, and really holding down that corner on the other side of you? Yeah, whoever's out there, you know, I'm confident in. I know, I know they prepare for it, whether it's the outcome is good or bad. I know they all prepare for it and that they work hard. You mentioned the preparation, and Deshaun said that when he's been learning from you, one of the biggest things that you've been harping on is how you take care of that preparation and, and how you get ready for that game. Uh, has that been sort of a focus for you as you uh, talk to some of the younger players in the secondary? Yeah, because you uh, you have to win a game throughout the week, you know, and you have to win every day. So. Uh, preparation is key in that, whether it's watching film, you know, waking up at the same time at the every day, or get make sure you're in the training room, getting your body right. So all of that really ties into being the best, trying to be the best version of yourself. And that's why I try to tell them. You, know. you talk about watching film. I guess last Tuesday you talked about doing your own thing. Um, how has that impacted your the DB room going forward? Um. I think it's something that starts with Coach Parker. You know, he um, he really set the standard. You know, nobody watches as much film as he does. And, you know, um, kind of trickles down. Like the same thing when I said about Coach France a couple of weeks ago. It just trickles down from the head man. And we know that he watched a lot of tape, and uh, I want to watch a lot of tape. I want to be the best version of myself. So I want to watch a lot of tape. And the younger guys see it, and they try to we try to lead the way, and they try to follow and you know, we always going to try to do what we can to be as best prepared as we can because you want to play fast in this game. And in order to play fast, you got to know what you're doing. In order to know what you're doing, you got to watch tape. Am I right that 2021 Wisconsin, was that your first start? Yes. Okay. That was my first start. So you've been preparing for Wisconsin for a long time, right? Yeah, they changed a lot, so a whole lot since then, though. I think I had like seven tackles. I think the most tackles I had in the game this year might have been three or four. So. Yeah. Because the league's changed. I actually was talking to Coach Lester about that yesterday, how much the league is, our league has changed from, so I remember I'm setting a lot of edges as a corner right. and maybe getting five to eight tackles a game to getting maybe two, three. Uh, of course, I got to give kudos a lot to the front seven. You know, they do a great job of uh, keeping that off my shoulders. But still, we, we, we turn into a passing league, and, you know, it's fun. Uh, I look forward to the challenge. You know, that's what, that's what I'm here for. November football is obviously something you guys point to it's your sixth year through this, so give us a sense of what November means to uh, football. Uh, November is a time to where you really fall in on your routine. I think everything that we've done for these past what, 13 weeks leads up to this. You know, yeah. when you've been doing the same thing with Pedro for you over week after week, you know, at this point it becomes second nature. Like, like the back of your hand, like I might, I don't even have to set an alarm clock. My body just wakes up at the same time, though, depending on the day. And um, it's just, just knowing that everything comes easier, especially when, you, especially when you're at home, you know what to expect. So just that, just that rhythm you get, and everything is the same all the time. So it allows you to play consistent, consistently, and faster. You know, like we're midway through the season. We've been working on a lot of technique, technique work, a lot of tackling, a lot of make sure your footwork is right. You've been doing that for 13 weeks, so it's kind of like at this point now it's time where you need to be at your best. And I feel as though we've done a great job of doing that for these last couple of years since I've been here. It started way before I got here. And, uh, coach Ferentz, whatever, he's a great coach because he harps on the same things. Like his method does not change, and he's going to give it to you in the most simplistic way. And it seems like nothing, but well, he's been doing this for a long time. Yeah. You know, he's seen a lot of ball, so and I've been lucky enough to listen to him for six years and put it all together. It shouldn't take it shouldn't take everybody else six years, but it took me it, it took me six years and um and putting it together. Do you guys feel like you're at your best defensively? Oh, uh, I feel like we're trying to be at our best every day. Um we're gonna continue to grow. There's gonna be mistakes of course, but our best, uh, I don't know if we are at our best yet because we always gonna be better. Was it I mean you you've said that 
you're going to be confident no matter who's lining up elsewhere on the field. But how much did it help the defense to get Sebastian Castro back last week after missing the MSU game? Oh, tremendously, tremendously. When you get a six-year veteran back, you know, just his presence is felt out on the field, you know, whether it's physicality and coverage or just putting guys in the right position. So it was definitely great having him back. And you know, that's my brother, you know, that's my roommate. So, you know. We kind of go hand in hand. We bump heads a lot because we are very similar in a way. And you know, we just yeah, that's my brother. And, you know, I, I, I'm always happy to be out. So when when you say bump heads, what does that what does that look like, especially with guys like you? Like you have a brother? Oh yeah, have fifteen months. Yeah, like that. <laughs> like that. It's like that. Yeah, it's like that, man. We might not get physical. We getting old now, but you know, <laughs> words are being exchanged. Yeah. How was the film? Sebastian's film against Wisconsin last year. Do you still remember oh, the kind of yeah. game he had? That's hard to forget that. <laughs> I was talking to him yesterday. I'm like, man, you might need one of those. Yeah. That was his birthday, too, so it made it even more special. Uh, Just watching that one play where he had hit the dude in the flat and the ball went flying, mm -hmm. I, I don't think I've ever seen that. Just rewatching yeah. it on tape, it's a beauty to see. He's a physical, tough-nosed Chicago guy, so yeah. I don't expect nothing less. That guy's on the New York Jets now. Who? Brandon Allen. No, I don't think it was Brandon Allen he hit, was it? I think it was, it was, it was Brandon yeah. Allen? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, this is not only November,